Mm. Uh, I'm well, quite a fan of Eddie Moss, and he, uh, uh, not just as an actor, but he's quite a campaigner on Twitter, and he's, uh, he's a, uh, an ardent Remainer and an ardent opponent of Corbyn's Labour, and I rather admire him for that. A little drive out from Birmingham, on oh, the first glimpse of the big long wave tenors. We're at Witch Bowl, which is uh, just north of Droitwich, and look what we have here. The BBC long wave towers uh, transmitting on 198 kilohertz. Um, long wave to most, covers most of England and a lot of Europe as well. Let's uh, hope the long wave keeps going for a bit longer. They've been trying to turn it off for years with silly excuses like they haven't got enough spare valves and all that sort of thing. But uh, this is it. That's the real thing. Long wave. And look at that. Just gleaming in the setting sun through rain clouds. I wonder how those houses go with interference. There's half a megawatt of long wave and about the same in medium wave on that site. There's a tuning box. Oh look, you can test your cat's whiskers on the crystal set. They'd work very well there. Only 17 miles from Birmingham, and the sheep are eating the grass. Oh, look at the little country road, but it's as busy as hell. The workers even had their own bus stop, but I bet nobody works there anymore to be all remotely controlled. It's on a busy road, there's houses all around, it's uh, not quite like I would have expected it to be. Um, fairly impressive when you get close. Good 1930s construction. They don't look that high, but they're actually 700 feet. I guess the one worker from the bus stop gets to rake the leaves out. It's an icon, uh, BBC on 198 kilohertz. Oh, a nice rural scene, but it's between the busy A38 and the super busy M5. Well, we're really excited there, weren't we? <laughs> Listening to long wave, looking at long wave stations in Europe. Fantastic stuff. I think some of the interest I've had in long wave is because in Australia we never had long wave. Well, that's not quite correct. When broadcasting started in the early 1920s, the stations were on 1100 metres, 1700 metres, so we were using long wave for a couple of years and then the authorities thought, well, maybe it's a good idea to have maybe lots and lots of AM stations, give the people some choice, put them in the rural areas. Um, I think it was probably a good idea actually in the long run. And uh, stations down the lo lower end of the broadcast band running a bit of power, they were sort of like pseudo long wave stations to some extent, but still not the real thing like a big long wave station in Europe. Um, you could of course listen to the, the airport beacons and they're still running today, some of them with um, announcements of the weather and all that type of thing, aircraft information. So a little bit of long wave there you could tune around and listen to. Of course you could hear real long wave broadcasting in Australia. Oftentimes I did try and hear the BBC and other European stations without success, but you could hear Russia quite clearly most nights. And Russia, of course, which is a massive country right up there, we'd hear the stations around there. Uh, they had some big stations before they were closed down when communism uh, failed. And they, But anyway, the, the long wave is used to go all the way over here, all the way and end up in southern Australia. You could listen to them. And here's a photograph of me actually listening to Russia on the HRO receiver and with audio as well as recorded in that Pyrox recorder you can see up on the shelf.
153 kHz from the very top of Norway, well into the Arctic Circle. Norway's got rid of all their AM and FM analogue broadcasting, but they've kept this one. This is it on an SDR radio. Valkyrien All Stars fick du där låten den hette Kom igen. Gay Samuelsen är kommit in i studio och det betyder filmmusik. Folk music from Romania on the same channel, but it doesn't matter because they're thousands of miles apart. Morocco on 171. Europe 1, French transmission, 183. BBC. Ukraine on 207. On 2.25, Poland. <laughs> Famous Radio Luxembourg on 2.43. Avec Julien Cellier. Ireland and Algeria, both on 2.52. Denmark on 2.43, starting transmission for the day. More from Morocco. Now you don't have to travel far and wide or stay up all night to listen to all these interesting stations, shortwave, AM or longwave. You can do it via software-defined radios on the web. I'll have links below. Or among those killed, we'll have the latest from Jerusalem. Also on the newsroom, around 30 people have died in the wildfire raging in Northern California. The state's governor is urging President Trump to declare a major disaster. I'm Stuart McIntosh with the BBC News. Hello. Through the night on RTE Radio 1, where RTE go. What a waste that big blank carrier on 162 is a French station that closed down years ago and they have to keep the carrier running to supply a time signal. That the world can be divvied up according to toilet use. So it's estimated that 50% of the world use throne style sitting toilets, while 50% of the world is said to use squat toilets. In this interconnected world, it's hard to see how long wave can last, but it'd be really sad to see it go. La, 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 la. 